I try and get here to just watch horses. People may think it's boring, but when it's been my whole life, it's not boring. I miss it. I'll never be able to sit on a horse again. That's the most heartbreaking thing for me. Cows, all good? I'm a really flamboyant and out there person. I want to live by that, <laughs> even though I'm sore and not right upstairs. Throughout my racing career, I've had a lot of injuries. Believe it or not, though, from the first day I rode in the race when I was 15 to when I had this last injury, I've been in pain my whole career. This up here is what's troubled me late in my career. So I've had four significant brain injuries. My psychiatrist told me I'm only about 60% in the brain, which I agree with him because, man, if you guys spend a day with me, and it's hard living with me now. It's a loving and fruitful career being a jockey, but the um, danger in it is massive. If my kids, if they wanted to be jockeys, even though I've talked about the danger of it, I would obviously tell them what it's about and what it entails and what's involved with it, and I wouldn't put them off it. I'm just gonna support them whatever they wanna do, man. As long as they're happy. Oh man, there's just so many and I'm too short to get up there. <laughs> the blue diamond, obviously it's called a blue diamond, man. Two blue diamonds that they give you. Um, haven't done anything with them yet, but one day I will. What about this, these two? Come in at a race coming up that we're all talking about. The Australian Cup. Sorry, as I said there, a bit dirty. I'm so proud of winning on Harlem too. Because of the reason that there was a favorite in here that Mark Zara was riding, and it was supposed to be the one that it's gonna win it. I followed him, and then this little gap opened. I might have just closed my eyes and was like, <laughs> hopefully I was just like praying. And then he just went bang, later bro. <laughs> Seeing Harlem again. What's up Harlem? Will be amazing. Long time no see, man. Everyone loved him. He's just so cool and calm and collected, and um, he had a heart. And some good memories on you. Hey, boy. He's still so quiet. He's just a, still a lovely horse, man. He's, um, he deserves everything. I wish I could take him home. This is one of my mates, Harlem, that I won an Australian Cup on. Say hello. I was able to see him today out the Living Legends. And he deserves it. He was a legend. Legend of my career, so. Thank you, Harlem. After all he's been through in his career and what he's had to do, to see him so happy for me is a lot of performance, you know, just to see him so happy. He's going, mate, don't make me walk back up. <laughs>